So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my one week review and thoughts about the Insta360 ONE R. But before we start, I'm gonna go ahead and give a shout out to these guys. They're pretty much the first four people to reply and comment on my last previous video. So shout out to these guys. I really do appreciate you guys giving nice comments to my YouTube videos. Uh, much appreciated. I'm gonna be doing that pretty much every video from now on. So if you want me to give you guys a shout out, just hit me up in the comments below and I will take the first three or first four, depending on how nice the comments are. That being said, let's talk about this little bad boy. Last week, I received the Insta360 ONE R Twin Edition, which pretty much comes with the 4K GoPro camera and a 360 module. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. So the first thing I like about this camera is that it is very modular, and I'm gonna really talk about how modular this camera is later on at the end. And I'm gonna tell you why I appreciate the modularity. What I mean by module is that it comes in pieces and it comes in different sizes and you can pretty much mix and match this system, which is pretty darn sweet. And like I said, I will mention some other reason why I like the modularity of this camera. The second thing I like about this camera is the screen on the back. It's really nice. It's OLED, it's bright, it's touch screen, and you can see what you're shooting on the back even when shooting in 360. Pretty amazing stuff. Now the third thing I liked about this thing so far is the actual app. Now if you've been using Insta360 cameras before, you will know that the apps are pretty freaking crappy. I'm not saying that the Insta360 ONE R's app is amazing, but it just works for now. I really didn't have that much problems when using the app, even though it's, it was just released with the camera. So right now I would say that the app works just fine. I was not, I didn't have any problems connecting to it. Okay, so the next thing I like about this camera is the size of it. It's really small. I used the Insta360 ONE X before, and that was small too, but this thing is, it's on another level. Right, uh, considering how tiny this is, this, can, this thing can shoot some pretty good stuff. For you to be able to mount this, like I said in my previous video, you are gonna need to install the little bracket on it, but still, it's the same size as your GoPro. It's really small for the stuff that it can shoot. It's pretty impressive. And the last thing that I like about this Insta360 ONE R is the price point, which is really cool because like I said earlier, it is modular. You can actually piece out your own type of system. You can buy the core by itself, you can buy the 4K camera by itself, you can buy the 360 module by itself. So the price point is really sweet. Now, when I got this, the twin edition, it was at $479. That comes with the GoPro, the core, and the 360 module, it comes with the battery as well. So I think, in my opinion, I remember GoPros being around that same price and there were just GoPros back then. So at $479, you really can't beat this camera. All right, that being said, let's talk about the bad stuff about this camera. Uh, the first thing that I don't like about it is right off the bat, and it's probably gonna get fixed in a firmware update, and that is that there's no 24 frames per second shooting. Now, I don't mind that when shooting 360 videos because more frame rate is better for 360 videos, but for the 4K version of this, there is no 24 frames per second, which is kind of a bummer. All right, the next thing I don't like about this thing is the battery life. It's actually not that good. So if you are planning on using this for longer periods of time, make sure you get a spare battery or Insta360 is gonna come out with an extended battery. So keep an eye out, that should be coming out sometime this month. So battery life on this thing is really not that great, but it is small uh, and Insta360's defense, it is a pretty small camera and a small battery, so yeah. All right, the next thing I don't like about this thing is the files that come with it is very power hungry. And I know it's a brand new product, the .insv. I'm pretty sure hopefully one day DaVinci Resolve will actually support it natively. You can just drag and drop files in DaVinci Resolve and edit that way. But I can tell you right now, man, if you're planning on editing a 360 video out of this thing at 5.7K resolution, natively without transcoding and encoding, 
you're gonna need a really, really powerful computer. I have a Ryzen, granted it's like two years old. I have a Ryzen Threadripper, which has 16 cores, 32 threads, and I have issues editing this. Granted, I can't transcode the files out of the Insert 360 Studio app, but I just like working natively because right now in the app itself, you can only export an H.265 up to 200 megabits a second. So that's not really a lot of data there. Pretty much my workflow here is go ahead and go straight to Premiere and start editing that way and then export so I don't have to transcode and then bring it to Premiere and then encode again, which as you all know, the more you encode and transcode a file, there's a little bit of quality loss there depending on how you do it. So that's probably the next thing I don't like about this right now. It's just the native support on the .insv file or the video file is kind of lacking, but hopefully in the future it will get better. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I don't like about this camera. Now let's talk about the thing that I was talking about earlier about it being modular. I actually broke the 360 module already. It's a long story, but it had something to do with the Insert 360 selfie stick, which I'm telling you right now, do not buy it. It is absolutely garbage, and I don't really say it. I don't say stuff like that in my channel at all, but save your money. The Insert 360 selfie stick is not worth it, and that thing cost me the 360 module of this camera because for some reason, the 360 stick that I got, the little locking mechanism broke on it. So I had it on, I had the camera on that thing and for some reason, the, the, the locking mechanism unlocked, unhinged, and the camera was on it and the camera fell to the ground. I cracked the Insta360 module on this camera, which absolutely sucks because I just lost it. I am not gonna be able, it's cracked pretty bad on one of the lens and you can tell it's cracked. I contacted Insta360 already since I literally just had this for a week and it was honestly the, the selfie stick's fault. So I'm hoping that they can help me out. But if they can't help me, I'm gonna have to buy a spare 360 module that's gonna cost me 199, which brings me to that portion what I was telling you guys about the camera being modular. If, if this camera was not modular at all, I would have to replace the whole camera. But since I can just remove everything on it, I remove the power core, the only thing that's broke right now is the 360 module. I can replace this for 199 and I am good to go. And I still have the core and I have the battery. So it being modular is a very good thing because you can break one of the pieces, but you can replace that. Granted, it's $200, which is gonna suck, but at the same time, it's better than me having to replace the whole entire thing, which costs $479. So yeah, my two cents right now, don't buy the selfie stick and go ahead and buy the protector guard, which I should have gotten in the first place. Just a verdict, Insta360 ONE R is a good camera, but a lot of people have asked me, is it worth upgrading from the Insta360 ONE X to the Insta360 ONE R? I'm gonna absolutely say no. If you only care about shooting 360 video, go ahead and stick with your One X right now because honestly, the image quality from the two cameras is not worth the upgrade at all. However, if you are planning on putting this on a drone and getting the aerial edition for the drones, then obviously I would suggest go ahead and upgrade. Just make sure that you are aware of what you're buying. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, go ahead and check out the previous video I talked about because I did buy the wrong thing when I bought the Insta360 ONE R Twin Edition. Cause like I said in the previous video, I wanted this on a drone. All right guys, so I'm sorry that took a long time. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys later.